today. It's, it's still spring outside, a little cool, but still spring. We had a bit of snow recently, but that's fine. That's the nature of spring. Slightly warmer weather and a little bit of snow every now and then interspersed with some rain. But enough of the weather report. Today we're, we're doing uh, beginner Qigong. And we're going to be doing once again the eight pieces of brocade with all of the additional, you know, side to side, side body stretch, twisting, which is really good to improve the health of your body and get your spine nice and flexible. There's also, again, depending on how time goes, after the, um, the begin after. <laughs> after the eight pieces of brocade, there is um, a study that came out from uh, Stanford uh, Medicine uh, about a month or so ago, uh, less than a month, anyway, recently. And it was talking about sighing and how it was it, when they, they studied several different things and they found that sighing was the best thing to relieve stress in the body. So I'll talk a little bit more in detail about that. And we'll actually practice this sighing again, if we have time at the end. So this is spring. The color is green. The, uh, the organ and meridians that we work with are the liver and the gallbladder. And the uh, healing sound for today is shh. And the... Uh, the emotion that we're working on is anger. So anyway, enough of this. We're going to get back there and we're going to get started. So standing, we want to have the feet directly under the hips, then the feet more or less parallel. It's going to depend on what's going on with your hips, your legs, and that sort of thing. So that you're, we don't want to be standing like this, nor like this, because we want to be here with the feet directly under the hips. So let's pull down the heavens. So it's inhale, turn to your right, gather the chi, turn to the opposite side and draw the chi down to the brass basin. So inhaling, exhale, once more. Now we do it three times typically because there's three aspects to the body. We have the physical body, the Jing, we have the energetic body, the Qi, and they have the intellectual body, the spiritual body, the Shan. And so typically we'll be doing three things in multiples of three, but not always. All right, so now we're going to work on our three-part breath. So. We breathe in, filling the abdomen as much as possible. And then we take a sip. And again, exhale. <coughs> Inhaling. Once more. So one of the things I found in researching this cyclic sighing uh, study was that the, the breath that we do in this three-part breathing is we fill the abdomen as much as we possibly can because this makes the diaphragm move up. And the next one, the next inhale, so we add a sip on top. And so you want to do a short, sharp inhale like that, as opposed to <laughs> struggling. And so we do that twice. And what that does, it causes the lungs, the collapsed air sacs to sort of pop open. And that's part of the reason why we end up coughing. So let's do it one more time. So inhale. Last one. Uh, 
And now we're going to work on our standing movement for this season, which is standing like a tree. So we have the roots already established. Our feet are directly under the hips. The knees are slightly bent. The tailbone's tucked in. The belly button's pulled in. We lift the ribs. We lift the pelvic floor. We lift the chin. We look to the horizon. So we have a nice, tall, well-aligned torso here. So bring the hands up about the same height as the elbows. And then bring the elbows towards each other behind the back. This brings the shoulder blades together and opens the front of the chest. Now bring the hands up. These are the branches of the tree. Now the center of the palm about the same height as the eyes and the palms forward so that if we were touching a wall, our hands and our feet would be touching the wall and our torso would be nice and tall. Inhale. Drift into the toes, push against the breeze. Exhale, drift into the heels, let the breeze push you back. Inhale, we look to the horizon. Exhale. Inhale, we drift forward. Exhale, we drift back. Check the shoulder blades. Can we see the, the palms, the side of the hands in the corner of our vision? One more cycle. And we'll let the arms come on down. And now we're going to do uh, some, um, some warm up movements here. And we're starting with shaking the nine gates. Shake the water off the hands, get the wrists, the elbows, and the shoulders going up and down. Add in the hips, the knees, and the ankles. And then we twist and look over the shoulder, inhaling. Exhale. Turn the head, look over the shoulder. Keep the hips facing front. And we'll do one more cycle like this. And that starts with this side. And we come back to the front. A little color in the palms, a bit of tingling going on. We're working on getting the chi out to the extremities, out, you know, bringing it down from the head, out to the hands, out to the feet warming the body up. So now we have our twisting series. So let the arms swing. We turn the head, look over the shoulders, giving a nice twist to the spine as the hands tap the hips. This is Dragon Shakes Whiskers. Turn the head, look behind. Eventually, you end up looking more or less at the same spot behind you. Two more like this. And now cleaning the dragon's whiskers. One more cycle like this. 
and now flinging sleeves. We point behind. One more cycle, this side, this side, and we come on back. And now we're gonna do our side body stretch here. So put this foot out to the side, push across. So all the weights in this leg over here, take this hand and palm up to the heavens. This one, palm to the horizon. Take the fingers of the upper hand and point them down to the foot and look to the horizon. So inhale, we switch, exhale, <clears throat> inhale, exhale, looking for a stretch from the elbow through the hips down to the ankle. So two more. We start here, so inhale, exhale. Inhale as we switch, exhale as we stretch. And we come on back. And now we're gonna get into, what well, we're gonna do our immune boosting series. And this is a, based on uh, Ren Ru Zhang. And so for this guy, we're, we're going to build, it's called a Wei Qi field, and it, it surrounds the body you know, above, below, and around all the sides. And these movements help to build that shell, that shield. So it's inhale, we gather up from the earth, we build the wall in front, and now inhale, we reach behind, pull up the cape from the back. And now inhale, we gather the curtain from the left. Inhale, we gather the curtain from the right. Exhale. And now we gather the chi and we bring down the top. Exhale. So inhale, we draw in the red cape. And inhale, we reach behind, pulling up the dark blue cape, building, protecting the back. Inhaling, drawing in the green curtain, closing that side. Inhale, drawing in the silver gray curtain, protecting that side as well. And then inhale, drawing down the golden yellow cap, closing the top of the field. So once more, so inhale, pulling up the red cape. Exhale. Inhale, gathering up the dark blue cape from behind and bringing it down. Drawing in the green curtain from the side. Inhale, gathering the dark blue, the gray silver curtain. And then bringing in the cap, closing off the field. So that was building the Wei Chi field. And now let's pull down the heavens and we're gonna move into the eight pieces of brocade. Exhale. Last one. All right, so the eight pieces of brocade, we start with double hands, hold up the heavens. 
And so for this, we interlace the fingers, turn the palms away. We push down to the earth on the exhale. Inhale, we come up to the heart. Exhale, we push to the horizon. Inhale, we come to the crown. Exhale, we push to the heavens. Lift the heels if that works for you. And now inhale. Exhale, we slide to the side. Inhale, we slide to the opposite side. And now we push up and we twist on the exhale. Look over the shoulder, inhaling, exhale, inhale, and we finish with an exhale. All right, so inhale, exhale, we push to the earth, inhale, exhale, we push to the horizon, inhale, we push to the heavens, inhale, we slide down the wall as we push to the side, inhale, exhale, we push to the opposite side, inhale here, Exhale, we push up and we twist, looking over the shoulder, looking behind. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, we look up and we come on down. So two more like this. Exhale, push to the earth. We look to the earth. Inhale. Exhale, we push to the horizon, we look to the horizon. Inhale, we come to the crown. Exhale, we push to the heavens. Inhale. Exhale, we slide down the wall. And now we do the twist. And the finish piece. Once more, exhale to the earth. Exhale to the horizon. Exhale to the heavens. Inhale. Exhale, slide to the right. Exhale, slide to the left. Exhale, we twist, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, looking over the left shoulder. Exhale, let the arms come on down. Last cycle. And we finish. All right, next is King removes his helmet. So for this guy, back of the hand to the kidney, palm to the back of the head, reaching for the ear, bring the shoulder blades together. Exhale, we turn, look to the horizon. So we take this upper elbow and bring it back as much as possible. Inhale, we rotate the arms. Exhale, pull the elbow back, turn the head, look to the horizon, opposite side. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more cycle like this. Exhale. Inhale as the arms rotate. Turn the head, pull the elbow back. Exhale, we look to the horizon. And then we come around. And now, new stuff. Inhale. We look to the earth as we point the elbow to the heavens. We push it up. Inhale, we turn. Exhale, we look to the earth. Inhale, we come to the center as we rotate the arms. Exhale, push the elbow up. Shoulder blades come together. Inhale, we rotate. Exhale. Once more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, the arms cycle round. Exhale. And now we move on to adding, no, we look up this time. So inhale. Exhale. Drop the upper elbow, look to the heavens, shoulder blades still coming together. Inhale, we change sides. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. Last cycle for this one. Inhale. Exhale. And now we do the twist. So inhale, hand to ear, hand to kidney. Turn and look behind. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last cycle. And we come on down. So that was King Removes Helmet. Next is Divide Heaven and Earth. And so we're holding a ball here. We turn the ball over so the opposite hands on top. We push down to the earth. We push up to the heavens. And we're keeping the shoulders as level and the torso pointing straight up. Look to the upper hand. Inhale, hold the ball. Exhale, push down, push up. Draw the fingertips towards each other. Inhaling. Exhale. And now we add a side body stretch to this. So we push down, we push up, and we're trying to get the shoulders stretching the side of the body. So lift one shoulder, drop the other, look to the upper hand. Inhale, exhale. Feel the stretch from the ankle to the wrist. One more cycle like this.
And now we add a twist. So exhale, the bottom hand comes around behind the hips. We look over the shoulder. Inhale, we're at the front. Exhale. As usual with the twists, we look over the shoulder, but we keep the hips facing front. Last cycle. All right, and that was divide heaven and earth. Next is gather the sun and press the earth. And so for this guy, we're going to, we're adding some scrubbing of the end of the liver meridian as part of this. So it's inhale, gather the chi from the heavens, from the elbow to the wrist, scrub just below the ribs, below the nipples. Once, twice, three times, cover the kidneys, look to the heavens. And then exhale, we come down the sides of the body. This is where the gallbladder meridian is, goes along the outside of the legs and finishes at the fourth toe. The liver meridian starts at the inside of the big toe, the first toe, and comes up the inside of the legs. And then we circle the abdomen, scrubbing the liver meridian once more as we drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhaling. Inhale, exhale, with a dragon's back, we fold forward. Inhale, with a turtle back, we come up. So inhale. Inhale, we gather the chi from the heavens, stimulating the liver meridian. Inhale as we cover the kidneys. Exhale as we come down the gallbladder meridian. Inhale as we come up the liver meridian. And exhale, we drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, gathering the chi. Exhale. Gathering the chi from the heavens, stimulating the liver meridian. Inhale, covering the kidneys. Exhale, down the gallbladder. Inhale, up the liver. Exhale, drop the chi into the brass basin. So two more. Last one. All right. And so that was gather the sun and press the earth. Next is pull bow, shoot arrow. And we need to be in horse riding stance for this. 
So you step out into stacking the bone stance. So knee bent, hip, knee, ankle, all one above the other, this leg straight. And now what you do, turn the feet out about 45 degrees and bring the heels out behind the toes, more or less, as long as the legs are happy in this situation. Now, sliding down the wall, you wanna keep the shoulders over the hips. So pull the belly button in, tuck the tailbone in, look to the horizon, and now bring the knees forward as we lower down. And you wanna keep the torso as vertical as possible. So this is horse riding stance. And we, for, there's a bunch that we do here and the horse goes up and down. And so that's what we're going to be doing as well. So the first one here is pull bow, shoot arrow. And so you bring the hands up. Now, as you bring the hands down, lower the hips. So you wanna get the elbows, the wrists, the shoulders, all at the same height. And we've lowered down as we're comfortable. Now, turn to the side. The right arm, since we've turned to the right side, you push the bow away, bring the left hand to the chin, to the ear, and we open the chest, bring the shoulder blades together, and then exhale, we release. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we slide down that wall again. Turn to the side, push the bow away, pull the bowstring back, open the chest. Exhale, we release. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we slide down. Turn to the side. Push two fingers point. Pull the bowstring back to the ear, opening the chest. Exhale. Inhale, we come up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, Turn to the side, push the bow, pull the bowstring, exhale, release as we continue to look at the bow. Inhale, exhale, we slide down. Turn to the side, push the bow away, pull the bowstring, opening the chest, exhale, we release. Exhale, sliding down that wall, keeping the shoulders over the hips. Turn to the side, push the bow, pull the bowstring. Exhale, we release. In. Last cycle coming up. Whoops. Last cycle begins here. And that was pull bow, 
shoot arrow. And now we're on to cat gazes at the moon. A couple pieces to be aware of here. The twisting that we're doing is this sort of twist, but the torso is parallel to the earth. So we're not looking back at the curtain, we're looking up to the sky. And we're going to be doing dragon's back and turtle back as part of this guy as well. So dragon's back, we lift the ribs, we lift the chin, stretch the front of the body, turtle back, tuck the tailbone in, drop the ribs, drop the chin, bring the shoulders forward. This is a turtle back, stretch the back of the body. And so we're going to be doing that with our hands on our knees. So fingers on the inside and the elbow is bent, so we come here like so. So the wrist is resting on top of the thigh and it's above the knees, and the elbows are bent a little bit. So a dragon's back from here, lift the tailbone, lift the chin, drop the ribs towards the earth, and we look to the horizon. Now, a turtle back, tuck the tailbone in, Drop the chin, look back, lift the ribs to the heavens. So a dragon's back and a turtle back. Now let's have a look from the side. So dragon's back, lift the tailbone, lift the chin, drop the ribs. Turtle back, tuck the tailbone, drop the chin, lift the ribs to the heavens. So. Dragon's back, turtle back. And now we add a twist to this. So, and we start here. A dragon's back, a turtle back, a dragon's back. As we drop the shoulder, push with the foot that's got the dropped shoulder, turn the head and look to the heavens above in the ceiling. Inhale, dragon's back. Exhale, turtle back. Inhale, dragon's back. Drop the shoulder, look to the heavens above as you exhale. Inhale, dragon's back. Exhale, turtle back. Inhale, dragon's back. Exhale, turtle back. No. We're twisting. Inhale, dragon's back. Exhale, turtle back. Inhale, dragon's back. Exhale. We turn, we drop the shoulder, we look to the heavens. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last cycle, so inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhale, drop the shoulder, turn the head, look to the heavens. Inhale, dragon's back. Exhale, turtle back as we come on up. So that was cat gazes at the moon. Next is king rides his horse with fiery eyes. So for this one, we have this hand, palm up, make a light fist, we're just below the ribs. The other hand, palm down, 
about the same height as the chin. We're looking over the second knuckle to the horizon. And of course, we're riding a horse. So we're going up, well, down and up, up and down like so. And now the hands change place. So we scrub the end of the liver meridian again from the fist, the wrist, to the elbow. We come up to the elbow, out to the wrist. Turn the hands over, we come back to the elbow, scrub the liver meridian, and then we repeat. Of course, we're riding a horse. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we lower down. Scrubbing the end of the liver meridian from the elbow to the wrist. And we'll do one more cycle. Last side. And we come on up. And we bring the feet back to the narrow stance. The feet directly under the hips. So the next and last movement in the golden chi balls <laughs> in the eight pieces of brocade is King shakes his body. So a couple important alignments here. You want to have the feet directly under the hips. You want to have the knees slightly flexed. Tailbone tucked in, belly button pulled in, pelvic floor lifted up. We lift the ribs, we lift the chin, we look to the horizon. So we have a nice tall spine here. And so, and this is all important because we drop on our heels. So you want to have the knees slightly bent and the torso have good alignment for all of, the all of the bones in the body so that the vibration travels all the way up to the head each time we crash. And so we bring chi to the surface of the palms. Cover the kidneys. You want to feel the heat going into the kidneys here. So you lift the heels and you crash, drop on the heels sharply three times. And it's important to have the teeth together and the tongue out of the way. And we'll do two more. This is one of them. Last one. All right. And so that was the last movement in the eight pieces of brocade. So let's pull down the heavens.
last one. All right, so now we're gonna look at the healing sound for this season. And you know, we're in the spring season, it's the liver, the gallbladder, the color green. And the healing sound is shh. And the emotion that we're looking to manage with this is anger. And so we're looking to have a descending pitch in the shh to help manage, reduce any anger that we may have in the body. So we start here. Sorry. You bring the hand and you cover the liver. Liver's on your right side, just well, right around. It's tucked under the, the ribs a little bit, but it's the side of the body here. And this hand comes up and we reach to the horizon as we shift here. So we're gathering fresh chi into the palm. And as we tip up, the fresh chi is coming along the arms and into the liver. At the same time, we're expelling turbid chi out of the mouth. And so we have this cloud of grubby, green, dirty chi sort of going poof away to the horizon, dissipating that way. And the fresh ball of chi that we've gathered here in our palm is flowing through the arms and into the liver. So we got two things going on at the same time. So with all those thoughts in mind, we cover the liver because this is where we're going to end up. Inhale, gathering the chi into the palm of the hands. Two more. And we only do it on one side because the liver's only on the one side. There's another healing sound that we do for the heart. And it's a similar setup for the arms on the opposite side because we only have one heart. All right, so that's the healing sound itself. And now we're gonna do the animal for this season as well, which is associated with this healing sound. And it is the deer. So you take both hands, middle fingers down, hold them in, and the fingers on either side are the deer antlers. And so we, what we do here is inhale, we lower down, inhale. Exhale. Shh. Lifting the heels. Once more. And that was the healing sound for this season for the liver, for the emotion of anger. So let's pull down the heavens three times. All right, so we've got a few minutes, a very few minutes left, and I'm going to talk about and demonstrate, we're going to do some stuff about stress management from the Stanford Medicine School, off in California at Stanford University. They did a study of 100 or so people looking at some breathing techniques that would help to manage stress reduce the effect of stress on the body. And so they did what's called cyclic sighing, which is really just sighing. So sighing, <sighs> like that. Except cyclic sighing is inhale. <sighs> inhale. 
<sighs> so that's the cycle part of it. And the interesting thing is they, they, they found, and also um, back in the early 1900s, that humans and dogs and other animals naturally sigh several times a day, many times a day. And, and what's and it happened to me the other day, I had you know, my daughter's dog and he was having a snooze on the couch beside me and he goes like this. And so it's two inhales and then a sigh. And so, it's an, and so typically, if you wanted to do this by yourself, it would be inhale, filling the abdomen, then a sharp inhale, and then exhale. And you know, it's letting the muscles relax and letting the air the, <laughs> out of the mouth. So, it's, and so they, they did this study and they said five minutes of doing this. And they did five minutes of box breathing, and they did five minutes of cyclic hyperventilation, and also mindfulness meditation. So they used those four techniques, and they measured stress levels before, and they measured stress levels after, after doing it for you know, many days. And they found that the cyclic sighing ah, really did a good job at reducing stress. So that's all very interesting. Now, the equivalent, we we've been doing this stuff in, uh, in Qigong all along. And so the three-part breath, that's that, that inhale, except we do a three instead of two. And so it's a big inhale, then a sip, and then exhale. Except we've been doing it out through our nose. And so, and also when we do the exhale, if we do it for the stomach healing sound, this is to do with worry, you know, and that's in the stomach. So you want to do the healing sound for that, which is, oh, so the cyclic breathing, we put all this bit together. You do the three part breath. Oh, and we breathe out through the nose and you let the body relax. So inhale. Oh. And typically I look down and I sort of sink down as well. So we'll do two more like this. So inhale. Oh. Once more. Oh. And so the healing sound is getting, is reducing the, the worry, which is an aspect of stress. And the key is here is when you're doing that exhale, you have a descending pitch as well. So cyclic breathing or the three part breath with the whole healing sound. And it's time to wrap up for today. So let's get into our stacking of the bone stance here. And now inhale, we advance. Exhale, we retreat. Inhale, we look, move to the left. Exhale, down to the hip. Inhale, we look to the right. Exhale, down to the hip. Inhale, we stay in the center. Exhale. We focus our attention on the hands. Inhaling, the red phoenix. Exhale, the dark blue turtle. Inhale the green dragon, exhale, inhale, the silver gray tiger, exhaling, inhale, the dark, the yellow golden center, inhaling, 
to the south. Exhale to the north. Inhale to the east. Inhale to the west. Exhale. Inhaling. The yellow golden center. Late summer straight ahead, winter behind, spring to the side, to the east, fall to the west, and late summer. Last cycle. And that's it for today.